Step 1 TV Captivating Experience Okay, hello, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to have a very interesting interview with um, a fine lady seated right in front of me and she has a story that is going to motivate you your friends your family so make sure that you like the video you leave a comment you subscribe to the channel and of course make sure you are sharing the video with your friends um, um i have um gloria gloria eh? yeah please okay so the full name gloria gloria mechi gloria mechi um gloria i met you like um is it two months ago yeah two three months like ago that. yeah yeah do you remember where I met you? Of course, yes. <laughs> where? We met at the ghetto. At the ghetto? Yeah, at Achimota. At Achimota. Oh, yeah. What were you doing there? Of course, you should know what we are doing there. What? That's when, you, when you say ghetto, that's where they smoke, drink, and do sort of things. Mm. We don't have a place to stay, then we are staying at the ghetto. So, were you also smoking and drinking? Yeah. If I will say I don't, that means the truth of God is not in me. Mm. Yes, then I was doing it. Okay, so what were you doing? Is it cigarettes? Is it cocaine? We Which actually, one? yes, on drugs, heroin. You were doing cocaine. Do cocaine. Yeah. Okay, um, who introduced you to cocaine? A friend. A friend? Yeah. And what was the conversation like? What did he tell you? About? Is it a she or a he? A he then. He didn't let me know, but he was like, take a puff, take a puff. Then I didn't know that there's something, he would put it in. Okay, so it was a weed. A weed. Initially it was a weed. Yeah. So he would tell you to take a puff. Yeah, yeah. Were you smoking by then? Now, if we are happy sometimes, you know, you can say take a puff so that you feel iry, you know. So we are doing it, but I never knew that he was ideally putting the cocaine inside the way for me so at a time i got addicted so okay. when i don't get it for the first time i don't know they say it's techy but for the first time i don't know but when i don't get it i will not be normal mm. so like i'm sick like i'm having fever like i'm weak but anytime he comes around i'll be happy so one day i told him that mm, since you traveled you've not bring your stuff here i've been sick but see you brought it and I test it, I'm cool. And he still don't tell me until one day I met a friend. Okay, hold on. Were you smoking before he introduced that thing to you? Were you I, smoking before? I was smoking cigarettes. Okay. Yeah. I smoked cigarettes before I met him. So. Okay, was he your boyfriend? Then he was a friend in the streets because we are all in the streets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what was he was a Nigerian it. or a Ghanaian? A Ghanaian. Okay. So he was your boyfriend? Yeah, then he was. Okay. So you were dating actually? Yeah. Okay. So were you into any business? Were you working at that time? That time I was doing some petty trade. Okay. Yeah. I was doing some petty trade, but along the line <laughs> I lost everything. When I found myself I've been in drug. So okay, I couldn't so go to market. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go to see my friends. I could not do anything on myself. I only focus and think of him and what he will come to give me because he's the one giving it to me. Sometimes we go to friends' place, just like that. At a time, I spend even my money that I'm using to do my business on drugs. Okay, so he started with the weed and he was mixing it with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So when you take it, yeah. you feel okay. Yeah. And then it got to a point you became addicted to it. Yeah. And when he is not around, you feel sick. Yeah. So was it a techie? Of course, that's it. So when you asked him, was he able to tell you? Then he didn't say anything. He was just smiling. He said, "Don't worry. I'll take you to pharmacy to go and get medication for you." But meanwhile, but when I took it, I found myself I'm okay. So I'm like, "Ah, Henry, it's like the the weakness is is out." So I got a Liberian friend. She's Lorena. She told me that I shouldn't mind him. I should ask him to tell me because the girl knew the guy very well. Okay. So the girl told me everything. So after one week when he came, I asked him. He said the truth. 
he told you yeah he said yes that he puts something inside so i asked him what is that he say it's thai he said it's thai it's thai yeah arrowhead okay yeah and he was like i shouldn't be annoyed you don't mean to worry me but it's normal thing that young boys and girls does out there to but that I shouldn't worry that he will always be there for me, but he was quite unfortunate that he left me on the street. For how long did you take? Like for one month. For one month? Yeah. And then the addiction came in? Yeah. And he promised you that, don't worry, you, he's He'll going be to be there, there for, for me, you. yeah. And was he there for you? Not at all, along the line. Then I never knew that he's married. He was married then? Yeah, and along the line, one day his wife traced him. To our hotel room. Oh, so you were lodging in a hotel? Yeah. He used to take me to a hotel, sometimes to his friend's place, because he has a car. Sometimes he come, do yeah, let's go out. You know? So I thought he was promising me a lot of things because then I was new here. I've not really known some places. So mm -hmm. I was like, Gloria, don't worry, everything will be good, don't mind them. Then he was he was trying he was trying to be there for me okay but the day the wife came to the hotel room and caused trouble there that was when my struggle continued in drugs so you had to go on the streets yeah so but you didn't have a place where you were sleeping or no then i could not pay for my rent i couldn't go to my uncle's place as well because i've changed so i have to find my Liberian friend so I was staying with my Liberian friend but you said you were working you were doing some business I was doing some petty trade okay yeah whilst then, you were with him no while I was in my uncle's place okay but yeah. you left your uncle's place when, for him for him yeah okay so sometimes we go out we come sometimes he took me home sometimes so like one week I will not go to the house because of the drug sometimes when I take it I feel so comfortable as if nothing is bothering me anymore mm. I feel like to relax like we've been watching movie with laptop or you know music sometimes go to bed they pass, just unnecessary things that is taking our time and we don't even care mm. yeah but before I realize I'm lost your Liberian friend, um, was she also into drugs? Of course she is. She was into it before I came in. So she introduced you to it? Yeah, she was the actual actually you person were that brought me to this, this ghetto. So you were at the ghetto at Achimota? This, it's my Liberian friend that took me to Achimota. Then we were at Labadi. Okay. Yeah. And he, she brought you to Achimota? Achimota yeah. So you came to stay at Achimota? Yeah, because then we knew that then we've spoiled so many places. We've taken some money from some people that we could not refund back. So you were we, borrowing. Are afraid, eh, we are afraid of going back to, to La Labadi. Okay, Labadi, there is a ghetto there. There is a ghetto there. She stays there. Sometimes we go to the ghetto. Sometimes we buy it and come to her sister's place. Then her sister has gone to work. So it's like that. So we borrow some amount of money from somebody we couldn't pay. So they want to arrest us with police. So, so she took me that we should leave, leave that place. Even if they get us, that will go to prison. Because the money wasn't a small money. How much? Do you remember? I can't remember. Try, try, try and remember. Please. It's not a small money because looking at us, we cannot pay. There is no way you'll be able to there pay. There is no way. Was it 10,000 cities? No, 10,000 cities, like, what is 10,000 cities? Oh, the old, old city is like okay. 100 million. Like 100, eh, something like that. And you borrowed it just for drugs? Yeah, and not just once. So we are like... Okay, the two of you borrowed, were borrowing, was it in bit or at one? They gave it no, to you in both? We, no, we are borrowing it, promising the young man that there is some business coming up that okay. we are going to give him some items some goods to sell so we are borrowing that money to go and claim the goods from the the person that just came mm. back from dubai so he was giving all. you the money he was giving to my liberian friend because the guy says he's in love with my liberian friend and his senior brother owns the company and he's the cashier so 
it's like that. So when he, he gives you the money? Sometimes he gave us 5 million, 10 million, you know, like so, that. So uh, the first day he gave you people 10 million? Five, five in the morning, five in the evening. So a day 10 million. What did you use the money for? Oh, sir. Like I said, we and our friends, then if we have money, we also give to those that don't have. When we go to the ghetto, maybe you see somebody is not having, and you knowing what the person is passing through, because when you don't have the medicine, I swear to God, if it's your father or your mother's money, except you don't set your eyes on it, you'll be tempted to take it, because that feeling is something I never wish anybody to experience it, because it's really? painful. It's painful. That's why sometimes it looks like some people doing drugs are crazy people because you want to do anything to have money to drug. Yes. So when you get to the ghetto with the five million, people who are suffering, you try to buy some for them? Sometimes if you have, you give because sometimes too, if we don't have when we go, somebody do help us. It's always like that. It's not easy to see somebody that will help you, but when you have, you share with them, yeah. So in a day, how much were you smoking? It all depends. In a day, if you have 100 Ghana, you can smoke it. In a day, if you have 500 Ghana, you can spend it on drugs. Have you spent 500 Ghana on drugs before? Not once. Not once. So many occasions? Of course. It all depends. Sometimes you borrow friends. They'll pay you later. Sometimes I will pay. Sometimes it will end up fighting. Sometimes it will end up something, something annoying. Sometimes and we run away with your money. They will not pay you. In ghetto to you know we transact business. If you have money, like twenty for thirty. Okay, so if I want to buy drugs and I don't have money, you can give me twenty cedis. If I have. Yes. And when you are coming to pay me, you will not give me 20 cents. So it will be like 30. 30 yeah. So the people do those businesses around? Oh, very, very much. Very well. I will say that always I have friends that they do help me. Sometimes. Because if I have, I share with them. So sometimes if they have, they share with me. If they borrow me, they don't put interest. But then in the ghetto there, I have a friend that used to help me. He's a guy. So sometimes if I don't have, I don't worry myself because he will come from morning to afternoon. He will surely come to give me money to get Days that you don't have money to buy drugs, what do you do? I feel very sad, one, and I feel very weak, like I'm sick. My temperature will be very high. Then I'll start regretting all my mistakes in life and I'll start crying. And I don't want anybody around me because if you come close to me, I'll be very violent in you. Mm. Yes. So I just like to be left alone. I'm told that most of the ladies like yourself who are into drugs, some of them are into prostitution. Were you into that? Not really, not really, not really. And I will not say it's a lie because <laughs> in the world today, it's not only ladies that are into drugs that are into prostitution. That word prostitution is something that has been there not today. But I will say yes. But then it's not like the way some people think it because ladies on drug, yes, they will come out like they are coming to prostitute. Some unlucky man out there, I will say sorry to him because most of the time I've done it. They will take money from you and they will like, let's pass here. The ghetto is for them. They know all the roads in the ghetto. We'll tell you, let's go, come, let's pass it. At the time, and when she see her partner, she can easily cut eye for her partner, like, they can as well tell you that, oh, wait, let me bring key. You wait there to eternity, she will not come back. So you did that she, to me? She, you, you. Not really, because I have a friend that helps me. So... You, you, were, were, you, were you doing that to me, you? Not really, no. No, Gloria, you no, did it to me. No, 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 but... No, it's not like that. Sometimes I don't really. If if you come, because some selfish men out there will like, eh, let's go to the ghetto. The 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 drug girls, you know, when they don't have. If you if you if your money is not even much, 
they would take because if they want the, the drug, they will. So some, there was a time, yeah, somebody came to me that I wanted, I said, oh, no problem, you can come. He said he wanted to sleep with uh, you. Yeah, I said, oh, no problem. He said, um, I said, he can give me anything he has. He said, oh, he's not having a no, but he's having just a small money. I said, oh, don't worry, bring it. And I invite him to our uh, kiosk as well. I asked him to sit down that I'm coming. You then took I went, the money? He, of course. How much? <laughs> why, why do you want to know the amount of I, I, I just want to know how much was it. Okay, I took the 100 CDs. I said, wait, I'm coming. So when I went to get the drugs and my friends, we all come inside. So when he looked at the faces of the people he's seen, he himself said he's going, that I should give him his money. You, you called some friends to join you? Yeah. Were, you, were all of you going to have sex with him? No, we are coming to cure ourselves because we don't have money. So he brought money. Yeah. So when my friends came in to the They were all ladies. Boys and girls. So you all came into the room? Yeah. So he started panicking. But what were you coming to do? We are coming to take our medication. Ah, so you bought the drugs, you wanted to take With the it. money, yeah, because he doesn't have respect. If he have respect for a woman, he should have approached me in a normal way, like tell me we should go to, you know, guest house. He should have told me he like me, not just come to tell me that you need sex and you have money to pay for it. That means you don't have respect for womanhood. So I should show you how the women at the gate. So you took the hundred cities? Yeah. You we, never allowed him to save you? But there is no way I will allow you because it's not done in any way that you should come to the ghetto and a girl will just open her body for you whereby maybe she's not even having enough money to get her medication and you are bringing your tiny change mm -hmm. to come and give her. She'll be happy that God has sent you to her to have her medication. At the end of the day, fight will come. Oh, mm -hmm. Always we do make our boys beat some people. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have boys at the ghetto? Of course, yes. We do make them beat some on serious men because when they, they don't have respect for women. So when they come, they want to. Yeah. But the men who come to the ghetto to get some of you ladies, are they also into drugs or something? No, that is the most annoying part of it. No. So it's just like they are coming to take advantage of the girls. So you let your... So we have to treat their fuck up because every fuck up must be treated in the ghetto. There's some shit we don't take there. When you were in drugs, where did you have a boyfriend or something? I remember I asked you this question. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. Did you have a boyfriend? I think today you have to answer this question. Yes. Then I was having a boyfriend, but every time we quarrel, quarrel today we say to tomorrow because he himself is on drugs. So sometimes. Out of nothing, many a times that we quarrel, the fault is always for me. I will say the truth. So you had a guy who was also into the drugs. Yeah, he's the one that was helping me. Give with money. Yeah. Was he working? Yeah. Where? And his family sometimes go to his family to get money. So he's a he's a landlord. Sometimes get money from his tenants. He was working before and he owns an organization, a small business of his own. Okay. So. He's the one that was supporting me. So when he gets the money, he will come and give you your share? He will bring it so that me and him will use it for drugs. For drugs? Mm. Sometimes too, he f he's the one taking care of me because then I was not doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Sometimes he will even be begging me to come to his place, their house. But because of the drug and my friends in the ghetto, I will be in the ghetto, giving myself stress, restless. But I thank God for today because if somebody tells me that today will be like this, I will say, mm. if God says yes, who am I to say no? Okay, you continue. Um, I, she's <laughs> saying that she thanks God for today, but I want us to watch this video because this is a video I had, uh, it was an interview anyway. I had it with her two, three months ago. Just watch her and then look at how she's looking today. You want to do business? What kind of business would you want to do? You want to trade? Are you sure if I if we get you a, a capital to start something, you will not come back here? Are you sure? Okay, so that was the video and how she was looking back uh, two, three months ago. And this is how you look like. Sometimes when you look at yourself now, how do you feel? I feel very happy and thanks to Almighty God because 
I will say to God be all the glory and secondly to Apostle Kobe Washington I swear may he never lack because what God is using him to do in the life of the youth because if he's not him like you said if I look at myself today I'm happy because I knew the way I was looking with the time you are talking about and sometimes I will stand and look at myself then. I'll be crying, I'll be asking myself, is it I should commit suicide and kill myself so that all this shit will end? Or I should do what? Sometimes I want to even go to rehab. But if I remember the pains of that taking and the devil will pull me back, I'll be weak, I can't. But when Apostle Kobe Washington, for real, the, 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 the workers have been coming to the ghetto, sharing food sometimes, Clothes you, go, you, you go and take your share. Of course, I do take food and clothes sometimes. The day you interview me, Deb, yeah. they, they did some graduation. Yeah. yeah. I took I took food from them and clothing. But when the man came back, just like some some good spirit came into me that I am my after the workers. There is one Evans. He's a senior worker in chosen. So and his wife happens to be a friend of mine. Mm, she's a good woman to me. She always advises me like a sister. So that particular Uncle Evans, he said, yeah, Apostle is back, the man that owns the, the, the children we have. Why not? You and your friend, you people should come and greet him because there was a day we don't have food. Before the day you interviewed me, we don't mm -hmm. have food in the ghetto. Yeah. So the man was passing. We were like, Uncle Evans, we, don't, we are hungry. He said, Gloria, I don't have money to give you, but if you need food, let's go to the camp. So I and my friend, we followed him to the camp and he was like, he took us picture. He sent it to Apostle. He told Apostle that he wanted to take us to the female camp. The man of God said, yes, no problem. Then he told me and my friend, we should make it and come. Then we will be like, okay, Uncle okay, Vance will come tomorrow. Uncle okay, Vance will come next tomorrow. As if the man is begging us to come and change for our own good. So one faithful Sunday, my friend got me angry in the ghetto. So I don't know. I don't know when God, <laughs> when God turned around the captivity of them, you know, like I'm dreaming, I was like, what am I even doing here? So you that is gotten me angry. I own this place you are staying. If I like, I can fold this place down and say everybody should go to places, but no problem. Oh, okay, you if own this structure I, there. I made a, uh, yeah, I made the a kiosk. kiosk. You own yeah, it? Yeah. So you're a landlady there? It, it's, it's not about being landlady. I don't have tenants. <laughs> it's for me, myself, for... For the rubbish that was going on there is not mine anymore because I doesn't belong there. So I was like, why are you guys behaving like that? In fact, it's not your fault. I'm going to rehab. I'm going to choose it. If you people like follow me, they are, my girlfriend, I said, let's go. They thought I was joking. Sunday afternoon. Like, that time, have you taken drugs already? I've taken in the morning. Yeah, I'm supposed to take afternoon and night. Hey. No, for real, for real. You do morning, you, afternoon, evening? Yeah. 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 What if you skip one? Then you will not be comfortable of yourself. Then you will be wanting... You, you want, it's not about you wanting it or not. It's about your whole system. From your mindset, your brain and your body. You want it because if you don't get it, you cannot be yourself. So that afternoon, I was like, I'm going to choose him because after all, <laughs> to God be the glory. They thought I'm joking, so I just pick up my bag. They were looking at me, they say, eh, because I'm angry, eh, small thing, I will get angry. Eh, eh, eh. The other one say, leave her, she will come. She will come. You don't know her, eh? you don't know. If she's angry, leave her, let her go. I did not mind. I say, yes, after all. Nobody, none of you here brought me here and by the grace of God, none of you will show me when to go. So if God says the time, you people should take care of yourself. That means the remaining ones are for you. So I came that faithful Sunday afternoon. Apostle was like, Gloria, are you sure? You came here? Yeah, I came here. It's here. But that time I have not known the female camp, but they, they've told me it's at Ankuma. So Apostle was like, Gloria, are you here? Are you sure? <laughs> they have been telling me you go you since I came back your pictures. I say yes, sir. I'm I'm ready to change. I will go. Are you sure you go? He said glory to God. So he called one or two people, and 
gave me a taxi. They should take me to Dankuma and tell the people over there to take good care of me. He said, Gloria, make sure you stay. The Lord will help you. I say, Amen. So that was it. That was it. Yeah. I went to Dankuma. Okay, so this morning, have you taken your cocaine, your weed? Excuse me. <laughs> This morning, I was just taking my cup of tea to the glory of the Lord and water. What of the afternoon cocaine you were taking? No, this, this afternoon, I think I'll ask them if they have some good rice and chicken and, and fruit just drink. So you smoke in the evening, right? God forbid! <laughs> That's been past tense. Are you sure? Yeah. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature, behold. All things that passed away, God forbid. Drug is not something that we should take like child's play. Not because I'm here, I'm smiling. I'm, it was a hell. The, the last time I saw you, you were not smiling. And today I'm smiling. Yes. Can't you see? Today the you, you look Lord. so happy. I'm, I'm surprised. Of course I'm happy, sir. Because what God has done for me is something I should be happy about. Because it's not everybody. I was there. Some people came, they left. They could not bear the pains. Eh. But if you and your God say it's time, I think no one can say no. How long have you been uh, with um, Chosen Rehab? How long have you been there? Yeah, almost two months almost now. Almost two months. Yes, sir. So you have another month to go. Yes, sir. After that, what do you want to do? Yeah, after that, I would love to do my petit trade. Like, yeah. Secondly, I would like to be a, a film, I don't know, you an actress, or I would like to be a gospel artist. Do you have the talent? Sometimes. Can you sing? Everything, everything is in us. Is if we have developed it to work. So by the grace of God, sometimes it's like the spirit will come to you, you sing, sometimes it will be off, you know? But I think in everything when you put it in practice practice can you sing of course sing but one. not 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 as but <laughs> yes to the glory of the okay Lord, so I sing, sing one song let me hear you okay. one gospel song glory be to the lord in the highest hallelujah <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> okay <laughs> you know what i want to, you to do i want um, us to get support for you Okay. You want to start a small business on your own. Yes, sir. You want to work with someone. I want you to look directly into this camera. I know a lot of people will be watching you right now. Okay. What kind of help do you need so that we will ask people to come in to help you after your program? So just look directly into this camera. And God bless you. Just speak to this camera. Okay. I will say that after my service in choosing Christian Church, I would like to do business, trading, to the glory of the Lord. If that is where my talent lies, let it be to the glory of the Lord. If there is any other thing, I think the Spirit of God will also lead to it. Thank you. Okay, so thank you. I hope your graduation will be here to um, support you. God bless you, sir. Thank yes. you very much. And the day you... So I think you're going to graduate somewhere next month or so. Yeah. Yes, um, we'll, we'll be here to see you. Thank you, sir. And also, the little support we can support you will come and do it. God bless you, sir. Gloria, God bless you. Thank you very much. We, we hope to see you more transformed than this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. God bless you too. Welcome. So, that Thank was Gloria. You. Your name is Amechi. Yes. Um, I interviewed her some time back. I decided not to drop the video, but today I'm happy because I see her as a better person now than the other video so ignore the other video even if i splash it on this one forget that one this is the current gloria amachi thanks so much for watching the video like leave a comment and subscribe to the channel please if you have any support for gloria we are going to drop a number on the screen it's just right there just call the number and any kind of support you want to give to gloria we are ready to get in touch and god will richly bless you Amen. bye bye <laughs> step one tv Captivating experience.